So let's go take a look, baby boy. Let's do it. Did you just hit me on my butt? <laughs> this was a party house. It was a party house. Mirrors, uh, Mirrors. A, a stock bar. Downstairs. Tons of alcohol. Yes. It really was. It Ross was did some spot. drinking. I did some drinking, a little dancing. Yeah. Matthew threw some ones, but. I did throw some ones. We didn't. At Ross, yes. Yes. And it was picked good. Them up. Hey guys, we're here with Ross. We're at our Mountain Brook Flip we just bought. We've already had it uh, demoed and we're coming over here to try to lay it out and get an idea of what we're gonna do next and get the subs scheduled to do the electrical plumbing and the heat in there. Ah, oh, oh, so. they took it down. Our guys are too quick. Too quick. Okay, so what we have is the previous owners thought it was a great idea to put this, this covered porch out here and it was like, big uh, pieces of glass. The glass is not tempered, so Mountain Brook would not let us keep it. So we kind of knew that on the front end, so we ripped all that out. We're gonna do a nice covered back deck out here. I think the biggest challenge is gonna be trying to get this back to kind of feel right because we're changing it up so much. But um, if we had kept that as living space, we would have had to change out all the windows to tempered windows. We would have had to figure out how to get heat and air out here. A covered deck from that end to that point, and then from that point on, we're gonna have like a, a open deck right. for grilling and whatever. Okay, so this is the master bedroom. We're gonna get some windows and fill this wall in right here. Or do you think we ought to have a door going from the master bedroom to the deck. I like a door, but it's kind of tight in here, so you might have to go window. It is tight in here. Yeah. How long do you think it'll take Ross to have this house done? If we can get somebody Two here weeks? and they stay here, I'd say six weeks. I'm gonna say more like 10 to 12 weeks, because it's pretty big. Um, I guess we're gonna get Jonathan back over here to start framing, right? Um, He's almost, I mean, he's, he's done pretty good. I think once we get this set up out here. We have had our biggest crew over here um, and they did all the demo in about a week's time. And man, it was just a ton of crap in this house. And we always try to go faster than Matthew. Every time he says something, we just have to trim it off a little bit and try to beat it. That's right, so that's right. Always gotta be fast. Maybe, maybe you can have it done in three weeks then. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's the goal. We actually had an engineer come and see if the floor joists in the attic were um, big enough to carry the load of putting some living space in the attic because there's a lot of headroom up there. The previous owner told me that um, they built the house to put bedrooms in the attic, so it has a lot of space. Um, but the joists, the code has changed so much that the joists just aren't big enough to to uh, carry that load. So. In order to put bedrooms, we would have to rebuild all the ceilings downstairs on the main level. And um, with the cost of lumber right now, I just don't think that's the best way of, of doing it. So we're gonna try to keep it as a three bedroom, two bath on the main level, and a one bedroom, one bath now. We might not be able to get all this laid out today. We might just have to uh, kind of think about this for a little while. Um, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll just walk through a house a couple times and Hopefully, after two or three times, we'll kind of figure it out. All right, Ross? That's right. Ain't that right? Okay. I think even if you kept it the way it was, you still got three bedrooms, right? Yeah, three up, and then we're gonna we'll put a couple. one down with a den down. Yeah. We're gonna open up that wall right there. Hey, text Scott and ask him if, if he checked to see if he had that uh, big 12-foot door for Rycroft. He said he had one that he special ordered for somebody else that they didn't take it. We paid 300 grand for this house, uh, closed on it a few weeks ago. Um, I really feel like I was gonna try to put some extra living space in the attic cause it's kinda built for that. But um, to bring it up to code, we're gonna have to change the joists, all the floor joists, which, which is the ceiling joists also, right? And um, 
that was gonna be just too big of an undertaking. So I think initially I was hoping this house would pull, you know, high 700s, but I think it's gonna be more in the 600s now. So, but I think it still be great. Um, we're gonna end up having a three bedroom, two bath on the main level, and then a one bedroom, one bath in the basement with a den. I think we might try to maybe move that door right. down here. Maybe close that window and have have a you know so you can move around. kitchen right there, have the range right there, and have a big island right here. Right? I think the biggest selling point here is is it's in Mountain Brook. It's got a lot of square footage, but it doesn't have a lot of bedrooms. Uh, I think that's the biggest problem. But um, I think it has a pretty big lot. Great I think lot. it feels um, kind of like an estate property. Um, we're gonna have to make that backyard more um, uh, kid friendly, I think. But I think we can do that. The previous owner had pictures of how it was when he was a kid and it looked uh, pretty nice. Inspectors, especially inspectors, they frown upon large pieces of glass that are not tempered. Because a kid could go over there and hit it or, or a person or a dog or you know uh, a ball hit it and instead of it um, shattering into tiny pieces, it could come out from big chunks and you know hurt somebody. All I know is tempered glass is um, when it shatters, it shatters in tiny pieces. So it, it really can't cut you. This old 1960s glass is gonna slice you up, uh, break off in big, big chunks, chunk. you know? I don't know if this gonna do it. I mean, I, we're gonna see. As you can see, if somebody was standing underneath that, that could, could cut them up. But if it was tempered, it would break off in tiny pieces. So we're gonna turn all this into kind of outdoor living, you know, with some handrails, take the glass out. Matthew's gonna take the curtains to the loft. That's right, yes. Have the red room. Yes. Okay, put uh, some windows there, a door right here. And um, I can kind of see it in my head. So uh, I hope it turns out like I see sweet. it. A little doorbell over there, we'll probably take yes, that out. Yes, we're gonna take the doorbell out. But it's cool though. Yeah. And then Ross has been getting his party on. Yeah, I'm here. Some I'm 1960s here. champagne. That's some of the, was that the girl that was in the hallway? It was. Yeah. That's okay. thick glass. Yeah, it's very thick.